Hey everybody, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. This is Jeremy Moskowitz. He's a Microsoft MVP for GP Answers and Policy Pack. That's right. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do right now, buddy? Would, would you find it interesting if you could deploy real, no kidding around, group policy settings, pretty much all of them, to domain joined or non-domain joined machines, wait for it, through the cloud? Through the cloud, okay, so hold on. I mean, A, you had me at non-domain joined. Yep. That's fantastic. Yep. And, then, and then those that, that aren't even in my environment here. Yep. Okay, so um, obviously we have to get something out to them. Correct. All right. So let's set the stage first. So before we even do uh, the thing that we got to get over to them, let's go over and take a look at Policy Pack Cloud. Okay. Let's do a quick run through here. Sweet. The idea is that we've got these ideas called built-in groups and company groups. Built-in groups, the first one is called all, and all we've done is we've got a shortcut item on the desktop, as soon as you join Policy Pack Cloud, your instance, of course. I wouldn't expect everybody else to have the same shortcut. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll create some other directives, get them into Policy Pack Cloud, and watch the endpoint pick up these directives in Policy Pack Cloud. But you're on the right track. Right. We got to get something over to them, and that's the cloud client which will join Policy Pack Cloud, okay. and that's what you're going to do. So I'll let All you. All right. So right now, this this uh, user or this computer is a uh, computer three. Yep. All right. Is it domain joined or not domain joined? It's not domain joined. That's right. But it is. It is. I mean, it is currently here on in my site. environment. Yeah. Yeah. I can't deploy nope. my stuff out there. So nope. uh, you said it's in PP, right? Yep. There we go. All right. It's. Uh, this is the 32-bit computer, so yeah. I guess we're going to use the cloud, cloud client. Cl yeah, and notice how it's coded for your company name. So each each customer that we have will have their own MSI that's unique to them. So their computers will join their instance of Policy Pack Cloud. Policy Pack Cloud. Okay, so I've just um, I've just did a right click and said install this. So yeah. this is the 32-bit version. Yep. Yeah. I'll just do this for you. Know, obviously, create a second step for your 64-bit. Right. All right. Now, um, since this is not my, I usually deploy you using uh, credentials for, um, I was going to type in computer three, once again, a non-domain. Now, I, I can't use my domain credentials. Right. So I, I have set up uh, the local admin account for this computer. Great. That's what I'm going to deploy as. Yep. So you're, gonna, you're going through the local admin and getting them some software. Correct. And that software is our software. Mm -hmm. And if all goes perfectly well, what's going to happen is that the cloud client is going to install on the endpoint. It's going to automatically, silently make contact to Policy Pack Cloud, and we have exactly one directive, and that directive right now is to put the put the Policy Pack icon, just something to demo, yeah. on the desktop. And so we'll wait for that to uh, to and occur. And so this uh, once this is this built so that once it's installed, it automatically opens, or do I have to open it or, or log in or anything like that? Nope. As soon as Policy Pack Cloud uh, is installed, it'll join your instance and download your directives. Well, how is this different from the uh, the CSE? So the cloud client is the first thing. It makes contact and joins Policy Pack Cloud and auto downloads the client side extension. So we keep that up to date for you. Okay, great. Yep. Oh, look at that. That was it. It already happened. Yeah. That was it. So now if you take a look at say control panel here, just to prove we're not pulling a fast one on anybody, if we go to programs, uninstall programs, just to see what's here, look what happened. You installed the cloud client and then it made contact and downloaded and got the shortcut icon. So this is the way you can you can enforce settings and uh, even for computers these I've travel I've got traveling uh, salesmen or something like that that yep. are always out on the road yep. they, they get to a Hilton they they open up and you you can still enforce yeah. So, for instance, you want let's do something just very simple. Let's say you want to guarantee that they can't get into the control panel, mm -hmm. or some security directive, or anything like that. Let's just do something simple. So, let's go into the group policy editor. We'll create a group policy object. It doesn't matter uh, if it's live. For instance, a lot of our cloud customers they don't even have a real domain anymore. They just have like a VM that is a pretend domain controller. So it doesn't matter what it's called. It's not being linked anywhere. We'll just create a group policy object. Click at it. So go ahead, we'll click on the Policy Pack node. Right. You know that there's a, a lot of different things that Policy Pack can do. For instance, you saw that we've got uh, videos on Firefox, Flash, and Java. You can just right click any of those directives, export, and boom, get into Policy Pack Cloud. Wow. So what we're gonna do is not do that. We're gonna do Admin Template Manager, okay? And instead, we're gonna just create a new policy here. And this is the same basic interface that you've already seen under user side policies admin template manager. You already know how to do this. So go to admin templates, control panel, prohibit access to the control panel and enable it. Now again, this is real GPO. We don't want a real GPO. What we want to do is right click and export to XML. And we'll put this on the desktop and we'll call this no control panel for you. 
Okay. Got it. All right. And then what we'll do, now that it's on the desktop, we'll go back to Policy Pack Cloud. And mm -hmm. we'll, for our, well, just do it for all. For all of our computers in Policy Pack Cloud, we will upload and link a new XML here. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and browse for that file we just put on the desktop called No Control Panel for You. Mm -hmm. We'll put a description. Oh, it already does it for you. And we'll just say um, No CPL for You. We'll click Add. And it's linked over to the All Group. Now, if you had a lot of different groups, a lot of different computers. For instance, you had roaming sales, roaming marketing, roaming whatever. You could move computers into groups and get different policy settings for different groups for different circumstances. That's fantastic. To kind of accelerate things, we're not going to do that. And all we're going to do here is we're going to run ppcloud slash sync, okay? And this is going to connect to Policy Pack Cloud. And you can see we got the no CPL for you policy. Mm -hmm. And if all goes perfectly well, we'll just go ahead and close this. Right click, go to control panel, personalize this control panel, and okay. no control panel. By the way, there's a bug when you go to no control panel. It's an actual Windows bug. Check this out. That's been there forever. That's literally been there for like 10 years. I just love that bug. And so there's no control panel icon here. And we really are doing, no kidding around, pretty much every group policy setting, every group policy preference setting, and every group policy security setting through the cloud by just creating a GPO, exporting the segment you want, wow. uploading it to Policy Pack Cloud, and waiting, and we'll get all those settings to all of your roaming computers, domain joined or not. That does not suck. Yep, we live to serve. We love this feature. <laughs> it's great for MSPs and great for on-premise on and roaming people. That's fantastic. Hey, thanks, Jeremy. Thank you, man. Appreciate right. it. Rock on, everybody. Thanks.